Hi everyone, I recently got the Logitech G502 and when I saw the news about it coming out, I saw the specs and I just had to have it. And so as you can see, my other two mouses that I have here, the Logitech G9, which I have not used in a while, but the most recently was the G700S. I really like the G700S because it's wireless, you don't have a core getting in the way, um, you know, it is you know, very responsive and um, just very well made as far as the grip, but it is just pack a lot, you know, more weight than the G7, G502, excuse me. But between the G502 and the G9, they don't make this mouse anymore, but uh, both you can change out the weights, which is nice, but I like to have my mouse as light as possible just because I have to move the mouse across my, because of how low my sensitivity is, you know, just having to have it go across the mouse pad, I need to pick it up and I don't want it to have to be too heavy. And the one thing I liked about the G9 was the interchangeable grips. You know, you could change between um, two different grips. This is just one, but I I like it nonetheless. It's um, mainly plastic here, but there's rubber on the sides. Uh, and your hand won't go anywhere, even if it's all sweaty. Uh, the main, like the main thing is, a lot of people are are commenting on is the the new sensor. But I've been gaming with it for about a week, and it took a little bit for me to get used to com coming from the G700S. But to tell you the truth, I don't notice a big difference. Maybe slightly. The main thing that I've noticed is that the feet on the bottom here are very, very smooth, um, better than the other mouses. Um, it just glides along the mouse pad, and so you you can precisely aim, you know, if you are in a battle with somebody, you know, that'll give you the edge over your opponent. I mean, maybe it's just a marketing thing for the sensor-wise, but they have the on the software here, on the bottom, there's uh, surface tuning, so you just add your mouse pad, and you tune it, and you go in a figure eight until it calibrates it. And uh, the other thing I really like is the DPI shift, the button right here where my thumb is. You just press that if you're sniping or even if you're rifling, and you're just in that battle where you're strafing from a distance or whatever, and, and you can better aim at the head without over you know compensating for it. So that part is nice, although you have to get used to that, even practice with it, because just trying to reach your thumb over and press it while you're moving, it might get you distracted and you might end up losing the battle anyway. You know, just you know, you have to practice with anything new that you have. And the the mouse wheel is, um, you know, it's nice. It's like kind of metal in a way, but uh, I've noticed. During gaming, sometimes it doesn't register right, right away or at all. When I move it, I might have to move move it down twice for it to switch between weapons. And that's one flaw that I've noticed with it. And the weights in the bottom, you, this thing just comes up. It's magnetic, so you, this comes up, you know, the blue part, and you put your weights in if you want to. And I wish that it was wireless, too. You could have it either corded or wireless, but nonetheless, the cord isn't really getting in the way for me. Um, it, it's just fine. And between the the three, I would still go with the G502, and uh, I, you know it just works really well with how everything is laid out with the buttons wise, with DPI shift, the other macro keys, and the feet on the bottom, the sensor is slightly better, but like I said, if you are not the greatest at gaming, you might really not really notice the difference because people were playing really well with Counter-Strike or other games before all these fancy sensors, and even though people might buy these, these products that have fancy sensors, may not play as good as people with their playing, let's say, the 5, MX518. So it's just it's just how you play, you know, practicing, muscle memory, all that. And the this goes up to twelve 
12,000 DPI. I think it's just a marketing thing because who the heck is going to play in 12,000 DPI? Any game you play on, it's going to be way too fast. If you just move it a millimeter, it's going to go across the screen, even with the game sensitivity on the lowest. But I thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Any questions you have, let me know. I would, like I said, I prefer this over the other two mouses here. Although I, out of the three, I, I mean, the other two mouses, I mean, G7S and G9, I did really like playing with the G9 for a while because of the claw grip. It's This one's more narrow and um, still has a claw grip, but um, there's something about the G9 that I still love. But I will be sticking with the G502. Uh, but like I said, any questions, let me know. Thanks you so much for watching.